it true to what is it true to what Wilder says though that you move forward a, a little more cautiously when it comes to making a Wilder fight because of the power he has and mate, he's just fought Alexander Povetkin. He's just fought Vladimir Klitschko. Let's just let's just wrap this up in terms of credibility and legacy and records. Joshua has had 22 amateur fights. Uh, sorry, 22 professional fights. He's beaten Povetkin, Klitschko, Dillian White, Dominic Brazil, Joseph Parker, Carlos Takam. The list goes on. 22 fights. Deontay Wilder was fighting, I think, uh, Jason Gavin or someone like that. I don't even think he got to Jason Gavin yet. So we're well ahead of our time. He's a unified champion. He's got four belts in the division. He's a number one heavyweight, second to none. He sold 320,000 tickets in his last four fights. Deontay Wilder was collapsing on the floor when they found out they'd sold a million dollars worth of tickets in half an hour. If we don't sell five million dollars worth of tickets in 10 minutes, I'll have a heart attack with Anthony wow. Joshua. So don't worry about Anthony Joshua. The truth is, is I think the whole thing was orchestrated. Frank Warren was involved in the so-called 50 million offer that they never sent a contract for, and now they end up fighting Tyson Fury. Joshua uh, Wilder has doubled his profile on the back of using Anthony Joshua's name. I would do exactly the same thing if I was Deontay Wilder, because no one else knows who he is. So use the guy who's one of the biggest stars in boxing to promote you and to improve your profile. And he's done a brilliant job. And Wilder against Fury, if it happens, is a really good fight to find out who the second best heavyweight is in the world. It's not a fight that people are crying for. The one they're crying for is Joshua Wilder, and we must make it happen.